Hey, what's going on guys? Sam here, back again with another episode of Top Snipes of the Week, where you guys send in your snipes from PS4, Xbox, PC, Switch, you name it, and we rank them in a top 10 list. Now, as always guys, if you want to be in these episodes and send in your snipes, make sure to tweet me at SixManSam. I will put my Twitter above on screen here. Again, at SixManSam. Make sure you tweet them at me. Don't DM me just because sometimes it's weird when I try to copy the picture. So just tweet it at me if you can. And if you can remember, also do hashtag Top Snipes of the Week. Quickly before we get into the video, guys, I just want to say we are so close to 4,000 subs, which that's just crazy to say. But we are so close to 4,000 subs. We're like 10 away. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, we've already hit 4K. But if you're new and you aren't subbed, feel free to hit the sub button. Um, we live stream every single day. So we don't just upload. We live stream pretty much every single day. That's just another quick plug. I think we're on like a 35 day stream streak. So if you enjoy streams or just want something on in the background when you're sniping, grinding, challenges, whatever, feel free to hit the sub button and stop by the stream sometime. But with that being said, let's hop right into the video. All right, so coming at number one this week, guys, we have MM Black 1182 from 2K Gamer. I think this is his first time on Top Snipes Week. Maybe not. I do know he snipes a little bit, but he's coming at number 10 this week, guys. He got himself a Tim Duncan for 97.5K. This card is probably like the last expensive card in the Prime Series 1 set, which is needed to lock in Galaxy Blue Ray Allen. And yeah, this card, I estimated at about 225K. I'm sure it goes for more, you know, depending at certain times, but when I checked, about 225k which is 105k profit very very nice mm black very very nice man coming in at number nine this week guys we have slimity pickens i know he's not new to top snipes of the week but he got himself on ps4 a all-star Giannis for 100k now Giannis, his price was way down on friday with the market crash because of the new packs and at galaxy Open team app and stuff like that and yeah, I, I looked this morning and his price is all the way back up again. So this is about a 125k profit, estimating this card about 250k. Very, very nice pickings. Very, very nice, man. Up next, we got Can Get Right on Xbox, and he got himself a glitch point guard LeBron for 81k. Now, again, it's very similar to the Giannis situation. This LeBron's price was really, really low on Friday, and even in even into the weekend today, his price is definitely down a bit just because of the new cards that came out in the market crash. But for 81k, that's definitely a snipe. I estimated this card going for about 300k, which is about a 189k profit. Very, very nice Can Get Right. Very, very nice, man. Coming in at number seven this week, guys, we have Lil Booker, and I know for a fact it's his first time on Top Snipes of the Week, even though he's always on the streams. I know he's a big sniper. He just never made it on the top 10, but this time he did with a Galaxy Opal Steph Curry for 77.2K, and this card is very interesting with his price. Steph Curry, he was going for like 350, 400K just earlier this week because he was released, what, on Wednesday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? I can't remember exactly. And now he's all the way down to about 250k. That's what I estimated this card at. So that's about a 148k profit. Very, very nice Booker, man. Very, very nice. Coming in at number six this week, guys, we have your boy Roy with hey Vince Carter with a diamond contract, I believe, for 36k. Now, again, I don't know who puts these snipes up, but for 36k, that's a steal for Vince Carter. And his price. It hasn't really changed. It was definitely down on Friday, but I estimated this card about 225K, which is about a 167K profit. Very, very nice, Roy. Very, very nice, man. All right, guys. I said things would get crazy, and coming at number five this week, this is just madness. Look at this price for this Derrick Rose here. 5K. Yeah, this is my boy Yeezium. He got a Derrick Rose for 5K. I will not talk here for a second so you can hear his reaction. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty good reaction, really genuine reaction. I'm pretty sure he was streaming. Uh, yeah, listen to this. You want to get followed for free? Oh, no, 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 no. So yeah, Galaxy Open Derrick Rose for 5K with a great reaction. Topping us off at number five, guys. I'm sure Yeezy made at least a 220K profit. I estimated this card about 250K. Maybe he sold him for more since he probably sniped this card on Friday or Saturday. But yeah, congrats Yeezy on the crazy snipe. All right, coming up next, guys, number four, we have King James from 2K Gamer, who's playing on Xbox One, and he got himself a Galaxy Opal Trace McGrady for 82K. Now, the price of T-Max has been very interesting. I've seen the card, you know, as low as, like, I like to say, like, 286K, but now, I checked today, it's up to 500K, so hopefully, he got 
about 500k for this card which is about a 368k profit either way maybe he kept this card because this card's godly but either way man congrats on the 82k galaxy opal trace mcgrady snipe coming up at number three guys we have the king of xbox himself with snipes we have nisius who got himself a galaxy opal michael jordan for 3k again i say this all the time but who who puts these snipes up 3k for michael jordan that's an absolutely crazy price i assume he sold this card and i estimated this card about 300k which is about a 267k profit very very nice nisius very very nice man Up next at number two, guys, we have JDog33 from 2K Gamer. I believe it's his first time on Top Snipes of the Week. Maybe I'm wrong here, but he's been going off recently with Snipes, and that includes this one here. He got a Galaxy Opal KD for 15.5K. Yeah, um, this card's still going for a little, I wouldn't say a little, but about 450K. I, I wanted to say a little under 500K, but his price has dropped a little bit since the market crashed. But either way, this is probably the best card in the game still, and to get it for 15.5K, absolutely insane, man. Congrats on the KD snipe. And coming in at number one this week, guys. I I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. I guess duo snipes are becoming a thing because this is like the third week in a row where we get, we've seen like two snipes and one refresh. And this week it's from Stage God, and he got a Galaxy Opal KD and the new Trace McGrady for 100k. Now this. <laughs> This card, or these two cards, I estimated this at about 655k for profit. Just absolutely insane. Two of the best cards in the game in one refresh. Yeah, congrats, Stage God. I did a little bit of, I guess, snoop and stalking. This guy came over from Park, I believe. I checked out his Twitter. So I don't know if he's new to my team, but if he is, this is a hell of a way to get into my team. So congrats, Stage God, on being on Top Snipes Week and coming in number one. Absolutely crazy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Top Snipes Week. This was like episode 10. I can't believe... We've already done 10 episodes. It seems like time's been flying, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the episodes. Let me know in the comments below what episodes been your favorite. Actually, that, that's going to be hard to remember. Let me know if you're enjoying Top Snipes Week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I love making it for you guys. But yeah, keep on sniping. If you aren't in the top 10 this week, you still have a chance of being showing up in the video. You're probably seeing snipes pop up on the screen right now. But as always, guys, if you want to be in these videos, tweet me at Six Man Sam. My Twitter's in the description. You know where to find me at Six Man Sam. But as always, guys, thank you for the support on these videos. The channel, again, we're almost at 4K. That's just crazy for me to say. We've been crazy successful this year, and I really, I literally could not do it without the support from you guys. So thank you, as always, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.